There continue to be issues with the global supply chain and the shipment of products. Kelsey Kernstein is here with a look at why those issues persist. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, Mitch. Well, industry leaders are calling the backups at East Coast ports the worst they've ever seen with no true alleviation in sight. In fact, there's backups of dozens of container ships off the ports of New York, New Jersey, Houston, and Savannah, Georgia. Industry leaders blame the congestion after U.S. importers avoided West Coast ports after bottlenecks and major strikes, rerouting to the East Coast. But now the traffic is so bad on the East Coast, the queue is about 20 vessels at the port of New York and New Jersey. In Savannah, there's about a 40 container wait. In fact, in the first five months of this year, the ports of New York and New Jersey saw a 12% increase in loaded containers. In Houston, inbound traffic rose more than 24% in that same time period. Now, some container terminals are so infiltrated with boxes right now, truckers can't get to the shipments. And ocean carriers are now charging shippers late fees for not picking up loaded containers and returning the empty boxes. To try to reduce some of the backups, officials at the ports of New York and New Jersey set up temporary storage for more than 100,000 empty containers. Well, to make matters worse, workers are now striking at the UK port of Felixstowe, creating even more problems for an already fragile supply chain. Shipping companies are trying to reroute around the port, but it will only cost more money and time, ultimately creating higher costs for consumers. And this all comes right before the holiday season. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.